everyone welcome to our YouTube channel Premiere Next. In this video, you are going to get all information related to Greece, Rise of the Pink Ladies. Introduction and upcoming American musical romantic comedy television series called Greece, Rise of the Pink Ladies was produced by Annabelle Oaks for Paramount Plus. Based on the Broadway musical of the same name by Jim Jacobs and Warren Casey, the series is a precursor to the 1978 movie Grease. The debut date has been set for April 6, 2023. Plot The plot of the television show, which takes place in 1954, four years before the events of Grease, centers on four disgruntled misfit kids who team up to incite the moral panic that will forever alter Riddle High and give rise to the first high school clique known as the Pink Ladies. Casting for the show The terrifying group from the original musical will be portrayed by a completely new cast of actors when Grease, Rise of the Pink Ladies debuts. A character named Jane will be played by Marissa Davila, Olivia will be portrayed by Cheyenne Isabel Wells, Cynthia will be played by Ari Notar Tomaso, and Nancy will be played by Trisha Fukuhara. These castings were announced by Paramount Plus in January 2022. Shannel Bailey, Madison Thompson, Jonathan Nieves, Jason Schmidt, Maxwell Whittington Cooper, and Jackie Hoffman as assistant principal McGee make up the rest of the cast. Hopefully nobody has to be the cast member that dropped out of beauty school. More about the upcoming show, The T-Birds and the Pink Ladies were Riddle High's already established cool kids in the 1958 original Grease, but when the new Paramount Plus series debuts, We'll be witnessing a very different side of the legendary female-led group and their stomping grounds. The plot of Greece, Rise of the Pink Ladies will follow four young, disgruntled outcasts as they seek to have fun on their own terms and establish themselves, even if the episode causes a moral panic in the environment of Riddle High, four years before the events of the well-known musical. The play, however, will still have the same pomp and circumstance and hallmark flair at least in terms of music and dancing, even though it takes place years before the movie, since Jamal Sims has been hired to choreograph all the numbers that Justin Tranter is writing. And who knows, maybe they'll be capable of reenacting that infamously challenging carnival scene. If you are watching this video on Facebook please like and subscribe to our Facebook page and if you are watching this video on YouTube please click on the like button and do subscribe for the latest update.